Okay, so first of all, I'm going to take this date here and then subtract this date here. And that gets me the number of days in between these two dates. Then I can expand this range here to cover all of the other dates as well. And that gets me all of the differences. And the closest date will be the one with the smallest number, so this date here. Now, all of the dates beforehand will have negative numbers, and all of the dates afterwards will have positive numbers. But I don't care if the date is before or after, I just want to find the closest date. So I'm going to get rid of all of the negative signs. And I will do that using the absolute function. And this will turn all of the negative numbers into positive numbers and we'll leave all of the positive numbers as they are. Now I just need to find the smallest number in this column, and I can do that using the minimum function, and that will get me the number 22. Now we can put all of this together in a filter formula, so the array that I want to filter is all of these dates here. And then I want to include only values in this column which are equal to 22 and enter. And now I get the closest date which is the 25th of July. Now we can combine all of this together into one cell. So I'll take the minimum formula here and copy this and then paste it inside the filter formula to replace this cell reference. Then I'll do the same thing with the absolute formula. So I will copy this here, and then in the filter formula, I will paste it in to replace this cell reference, and then paste it in again to replace this cell reference as well. And now I get the same result as I had before, but now all of the calculations are in one formula. Now, because I have the absolute part of the formula being repeated twice, I can replace this with a let formula. So I will type let in here, and then name one, I'll just call this test, and then the name one value will be the absolute part of the formula. And then I'll put in another comma here, and then all of this part is the calculation. And now I can replace this absolute formula here with the word test, and I can also replace this absolute formula here with the word test. And then I need a close brackets at the end to close off the let formula. And I get the same results as I did before, but now the absolute formula is only being calculated once, and the overall formula is shorter. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to find the closest date in Excel. And that is everything.